Yeah, I had another one uh, one last thing I wanted to share about my Jeep here is this uh, roof rack that I'm making or that I made actually I'm uh, thinking about selling them uh, so if anyone's ever interested I got a lot of comments uh, um, I'll share a link in uh, the details uh, about this guy uh, he's uh, pretty uh, pretty well built it's pretty stable I've hit it with quite a few trees and um, uh, didn't uh, leave a scratch so um, but anyways I'll just kind of go over it it's um, made out of uh, a bed frame material this bottom piece right here it's a one inch by one inch um, stale, uh, uh, steel L, uh, L steel or angle iron um, the bottom piece right here is actually just like a, a one by one uh, thin wall it's probably like uh, um, eighth inch uh, wall uh, basically just acts as a spacer and um, I don't know if you can see in there um, but there's a bolt that goes all the way through it and it rides in the, the original uh, frame or uh, um, roof mount um, rail right here and it's just a carriage bolt and they're ground on both the sides and then that way it can uh, just slide in there real easy and um, that way you can slide it wherever you want and, and uh, uh, position it wherever you need. Um, but it's just L steel on the bottom and then I took some L steel uh, for the sides as uh, braces and I just welded it onto the, both the sides here and here and the top is also the same tubing or the same tubing as they did on the bottom it's all the way wrapped around just for extra strength for uh, tying stuff down and keeping stuff in the roof rack. Um, and I took uh, so I took a chunk of um, uh, probably like quarter inch uh, L plate right there and then I uh, um, had a bolt that I ran through and uh, drilled it and uh, ran uh, a lock through it and I uh, put my uh, uh, um, jack up there so and then that way it uh, can stay up out of the way out of my uh, out of the Jeep and whatnot but it uh, stays right there and uh, not gonna go anywhere so and then in the middle I have uh, some three eight or three quarter, um, I believe it's uh, um, quarter inch thick uh, steel um, square tubing that I have uh, for the middle ribs, and then for the front, I just added some uh, generic uh, Harbor Freight um, off road lights with the uh, protective screens on, so they don't get whacked. And I just drilled them and ran the bolts through my uh, original roof rack. So uh, that's that. And then uh, for the back, I did the same, uh, just in reverse with some smaller lights for extra clearance. Uh, for my uh, for backup lights. So, uh, but yeah, that's about it uh, for this guy. So I'm gonna move on and do some stuff in the backyard and show you uh, different things around here. So uh, already, I'll uh, catch you later. Okay, so uh, kind of just give you an overview real quick. Uh, that's where my Jeep's sitting. That's the driveway, and you walk uh, along the fence there and come out right here and walk down through. And uh, this is my uh, little garage that I have or shop. And I got a greenhouse here, or a black house, I guess, I don't know. Um, we got this, uh, I got a little interesting story to tell you about. We got this huge tree right here, and if you can see, there's a uh, part of the tree's missing right there. Um, this last, um, like a couple weeks ago, in, in, in the last month, we had some really heavy snows and ice came through, and uh, there's a lot of debris um, from the trees and whatnot that uh, um, have uh, fallen out of the tops and whatnot. So you can kind of see uh, all those branches that have uh, on from the top there. That's basically um, pretty symmetrical, or was symmetrical. It was uh, pretty equivalent to the other side, so you can kind of tell uh, how much of that tree's actually come out. So um, anyway, we walk along here. We got our RV in the back here. Uh, this is my neighbor's kind of backyard. Um, big stump that used to be up in the front yard and his little piece of shit go-kart thing, golf cart, whatever, I don't know. Um, in the backyard here, we got um, some interesting view. Uh, we have some, uh, there's actually a creek that runs back there. Um, and you can kind of see like where the tree line is, that's where it uh, basically starts. And it's probably pretty full right now due to the winter and whatnot. But uh, anyway, so that's my neighbor's shop and got a little bit of a garden here and uh, more of a garden on this side. And I haven't been out here in a while and oh my gosh, there is a lot of freaking uh, limbs that have fallen down from these trees. Um, they don't, they, <laughs> they look kind of, um, uh, you probably wouldn't notice them, but um, from my eye due to, uh, I've seen them, you know, every, almost every day, but uh, they look a little uh, shaky. They don't look as full as they used to be. But I mean, you can tell by the ground here, there's just branches everywhere. Um, so, and the, the roof is just full of them right there, and big nasty ones sticking up in the in the tree. So, uh, there's a lot of uh, firewood uh, to be collected for <laughs> the summer's uh, camping trip, so, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this is my backyard. Um, it's nothing special. It's 
not very big, but uh, you know, we kind of do what we can. Um, this is my garage, <laughs> my uh, only garage that I really do any of my working in. The Bronco's in here right now. Uh, my dad left the back windows open and um, and I got a little wet inside from the from the snow, so he's uh, trying to dry it out right now. But uh, that's where I do all of my uh, maintenance and modifications to my Jeep and whatnot. So uh, got the neighbor's rigs back here, just uh, stashed for now in the other shed. And this is my dad's uh, 89 uh, 250, uh, four wheel drive, of course. Um, he did this. Uh, Pretty cool uh, setup right here for these lights. Uh, there's some fog lights for auxiliary use, um, mainly just for fog lights for close up work. Um, but same thing that I have on the back of my Jeep. There's some uh, cheapy Harbor Freight, Freight lights, and he cut out the grill and uh, bolted it to that main uh, bottom, uh, I guess, uh, uh, sheet metal for the, uh, the grill, the cowling, I guess, or something. I don't know. And um, bolted it in there, and uh, they're all flushed and uh, nice and clean looking. So uh, he's running on some 35 uh, um, KM ones. Um, they're uh, getting a little bald, but uh, they're uh, uh, on 16-inch rims, eight lug, uh, I do believe. And you got some—I uh, don't remember what they're called. They're car C A R R um, steps. They're pretty nice. They uh, are—I think they're aluminum. So um, I don't remember how many miles in this one, but it's the uh, it's the Lariat edition, and. Um, yeah, we've used it uh, for a lot of stuff. Hauled a lot of garbage and dirt and uh, all kinds of shit that we put into it. And uh, I think it had a camp on it once. It has the little tow hooks right there on the side for extra stability and whatnot. But, uh, um, and then a plug-in auxiliary port up there in the front of the bed. So, um, but this guy right here, uh, I think he's for sale. I don't know. He's uh, a kind of a parts truck. This is a 150. Um, has a 9-inch rear and uh, the four or the 44 front with the full flex. Um, it's the non-solid. It's a fl or full floating um, 44. So um, you, this was our first truck, um, or not my or our first truck. I guess this is my first truck in this family growing up. So um, it's pretty cool. Uh, got some uh, got us some pretty cool places. I actually um, drove it from here to the coast. It was about uh, an hour and a half, um, two hour drive by myself, fully loaded. Um, they had a car topper on top, and the back um, and the truck bed was full with camping gear, full. And then I also had an, a trailer um, that was full of it. I don't know where that trailer is right now, um, but it uh, um, it's right there. Um, that trailer right there. Uh, it's a four by eight um, trailer. Uh, I think the maximum load is uh, you know, not even a ton. You know, maybe probably uh, um, uh, 1,800 pounds or something like that. So, uh, but yeah, that guy was completely full um, over over the the walls there that are on it. So it was uh, pretty pretty full. Um, and I drove all the way with myself, and that one uh, that truck does not have a radio. So um, that was uh, uh, quite a long trip by myself. So um, <laughs> here's just an example of uh, what came down in this uh, last storm. Uh, that's probably uh, a good uh, three or four inches across there and it split a pretty good chunk. So and that's probably um, 10 or 15 feet. So yeah, it starts right there and goes all the way to the corner and it looks like it kind of tucks under the fence or the, the garage there. So yeah, there's some pretty gnarly chunks that came down. Um, I'm glad I wasn't out here. Uh, when that happens. So uh, anyway, this is uh, my uh, storage shed. There's a bunch of stuff in here. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you a couple of things. Um, uh, most of it's under covered, um, but right there is uh, my awesome mountain bike that I got. Um, it's a Next. Um, I believe it's an 18 speed, uh, 26 inch tires that are, uh, um, I forgot they're called, they're grab bites or something like that. I don't remember, but it's been a while since I've done any uh, mountain biking. So it's all our storage shed and all our garbage. And then we got my lawn mower. That's pretty cool. So in our cedar pile, cedar logs, and then uh, got a junk pile back there. That's all of our scrap parts that we've taken off, and the, my bumper, my old original stock bumper that I tore off there. So, um, but anyway, yeah. And then uh, we got our garden out here. Um, this is the area that gets the most sun, or the most sunlight during uh, um, really any season. Uh, the sun sets uh, or, uh, rises over there in the trees, and then comes up, and high noon's about there, and then it uh, sets on the other side of the hill, um, ba uh, back on the other side of my house. So this area gets a lot of the sunlight. So, um, but this is uh, my back backyard. Um, this is technically our property um, all the way out. Um, it's supposed to be I don't know 100 feet um, from the water or something like that, but. 100 feet is uh, actually where my house is. So um, anyway, yeah. So anyway, this is kind of our little trail thing that we got going on here that that I 
did some work or, or actually just started this last summer and you kind of see like where the green grass is that's where uh, uh, the trail is actually at and it just kind of cruises around here and it's just open field but uh got a little bit of swamp hole going on there and the the road the trail goes out there by the get or by the um by the water and then uh we got our pump house out there you probably can't see it. it's pretty camo camouflage in there in the trees but there it is and uh we go out there along the other side and uh um if i look around this tree here there's a couple of stumps that you can see that we uh uh, climb around on and we uh, uh, go in between those two, th uh, two trees right there and there's a bunch of uh, old logs that we crawl up and around on. So uh, it's uh, pretty interesting but um, probably plenty more work to come and uh, we'll probably get some updates on uh, the summer when uh, uh, the water recedes back. So uh, I don't know if I really want to go out there and uh, get stuck. It's pretty soupy. I um, actually already did. Um, get stuck once so um, now that I got a winch I'm not too uh, worried about it but still I'm not uh, wanting to take a risk so anyway um yeah and uh, <laughs> as I turn around check this out so I zoom in here and uh, right there there's a top missing out of the tree and it's laying uh, somewhere in that uh, pile back there so just uh, another example for uh, what happened oh and if you want to see some uh, I guess carnage from uh, all these trees and whatnot. This uh, right across the street here, it's kind of interesting, kind of kind of scary looking. But um, when you come over, when you come from that direction, the road goes up there and it kind of goes up onto a hill. But you come up and around the corner there, and you look up onto this hillside behind uh, behind these uh, taller trees that are right here, right next to the road. I don't know if you can tell, but there's some other ones back there in the back. You can kind of see the tops there, and this whole like the whole hillside are just full of uh, smaller um, alder trees. And um, all the tops have been blown off. It looked like a, um, like you know, like Mount St. Helens or something like that went off and just ripped all the trees down. So it was pretty gnarly. So, um, <coughs> um, so yeah, um, had our RV there. It's just kind of chilling out. Haven't really done anything with it yet. Still uh, in the process, and my neighbor's junk. So, um, but yeah. Um, but I just want to kind of, you know, just kind of. Uh, say that uh, I'm looking forward to doing this. I've uh, kind of wanted to do uh, a video vlog uh, type thing and uh, um, for a while now but just haven't really got the gumption to really get or the motivation to really get into it. So I love videos and doing all that sort of stuff so um, I hope uh, there's uh, plenty more interesting videos to come along so I'm, I'm gonna work on my camera skills and everything and uh, video editing and everything too so and that way I can get some uh, awesome videos so alrighty well this concludes our uh, first one of the day there's my front door and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys around and uh, catch you later alright peace